Hello, everybody. I'm going on take three. Been working on getting this one out, and uh, it keeps on. Something happened. Somebody came to the door. Camera shut off. Uh, you know how if you if you do these kind of videos, uh, if you ever have uh, you know if you do something for Instagram or whatever, you know what's going on with that. I'm filming from my my camera. I haven't got quite got to that point where I'm editing and doing all the fancy stuff. Who knows? Maybe someday. Kind of like the way my knife collecting has gone. I started out getting um, you know uh, Kubis and you know things like that. Um, a lot of the the more inexpensive uh, knives, uh, Civivis, uh, those kind of things, and. Um, one of the knives that I've always like kind of yearned for uh, were Spydecos, and uh, I kind of got into the uh, modern folders um, because of uh, some training that I did, some martial arts training. Uh, it's a, there was a, a seminar uh, for martial blades concepts. Uh, Michael Janice is the guy that came up with that. It wasn't Michael that was teaching the class; it was somebody you know that's certified more uh in a, in a local area here in california and i uh, went to the class they um we trained with the trainers you know they have the holes yeah, they got the one hole for the spider co but multiple holes in the trainer that way you can tell that you're, you're working with a trainer knife that doesn't have a blade and you're not going to cut up and start bleeding somebody out so uh anyway we we did all the training and towards the end they were talking about uh the benefits of carrying a a, a knife uh, obviously uh, we all have knives that we carry if we're into this hobby. And um, most of the time, we're just we're using it for whatever we need to cut. And uh, sometimes, like if you're like me, you go out of your way to find things to cut because you love to cut stuff. You love knives. You love just the whole concept of being able to use a sharp edge on something. It could be a Twinkie wrapper. It could be a cardboard box. You could pick up a stick uh, and just start whittling on that thing. Uh, you know, Scabble required the boys cutlery. He he's a big fan of that, and I I can totally relate to that. I will I will look. I'll be walking around. You know, taking a break from work or something, walking around in the parking lot, looking around for a stick to whittle on. Anyway, um, getting back to the knife. You know, I tend to go off as some of us do. This is the Shaman, and it is one of the premium, in my mind, uh, Spyderco knives. Um, I got quite a few Spydercos in my collection, always wanted to get a Shaman, never really uh, saw them available or at a price that I was willing, uh, able to really um, stomach, but... Nick uh, had bought this one. He did videos on it. He did cut testing on it. Go check out his channel if you're interested in shamans or 15V steel. He really gets into it. So you can see a lot more about it. He really loves a sharp edge. He sharpens. Um, if you look at this one, I believe this is his edge. And if I catch it in the light, you can see that's what we're talking about, a mirror edge on this thing. So he knows what he's doing with sharpening. He knows about a sharp edge, and he is a, uh, he's kind of addicted to that sharpness. So, yeah, 15V, Shaman, um, USA made, but he, he wasn't done after that. He ended up, uh, it had, the, I think it was G10 handles on it, just the standard ones. Um, those are pretty comfortable, but he loves titanium. So you're seeing this this textured titanium. Obviously, with the uh, with these kind of knives, uh, there's going to be a lot of people that make scales. This one, uh, from what he said and what I'm looking at on online, uh, comes from uh, a company called Rip Rips Garage Tech, and uh, you can find these scales uh, on their website and many others as well. Do a lot of Spider Co. Um, they turned out really nice on here. Very cool. Titanium textured. I love that. Um, you know, similar to the Atom, but uh, different kind of milling on here, but it's very grippy. Um, definitely excellent. Uh, Ergos. Um, it's got, he uh, changed out the clip. 
uh, to the deep carry. So, uh, yeah, um, by the time he decided that he needed to go ahead and sell this one to move on, because he, he will tend to do that. He'll, uh, he'll need money either to, you know, to buy another knife or something for something and he'll sell a knife and he'll come up with some other amazing knife. And it seems like they constantly are getting better and better. That's why I recommend, um, he's always shouting out my channel. I recommend you go check out behind the edge. He's, he doesn't get as much credit as he should. Um, I think, um, YouTube kind of fights him. He gets a little bit, uh, you know, he doesn't, he get he gets, um, uh, doesn't get as much exposure as he should because he has a great channel. So Spyderco's in my collection. Uh, I started out with the PM2, and that seemed really expensive to me at the time. And that's only hundred something dollars. Um, but yes, it's USA made. Uh, this one's got S45 VN, and uh, it's made in uh, Golden, Colorado, USA Earth, just like the Shaman. Um, that was my, my second one. Uh, I got a Tenacious first, uh, from Amazon, which was really inexpensive, but, uh, yeah, this one was kind of a, a step up and then more recently, be, but before the Shaman, I got the, um, I got the Manix 2 and the Manix 2, I kind of see it as kind of like a poor man's, uh, Shaman. You look at the, the design of these two and it's, it's similar. Very similar. Uh, different locking mechanism. This one's got the compression lock, just like the the PM2, that compression lock. But it has the um, this one has the ball bearing lock, so it's, it's it looks a lot like an access lock. Different kind of spring. It's got a ball bearing in there that that does the locking. So I think um, it's a pretty good lock. Uh, great knife, especially for the price. Um, it's more in the range of the PM2. Uh, then uh, after that, uh, I was stepping up a little bit here. Still not as expensive as the Shaman for sure, but the Smock is a really, really nice knife. And this has got that button lock that's not really a button lock. It's just a, really a compression lock with a button attached to it. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's kind of like uh, getting a CME from... <coughs> Uh, from, uh, oh, what's that channel's name? OCD for EC EDC. He has those, and uh, if you get them for these uh, compression locks, it's the same kind of action. But they kind of just designed that into the knife. It's it's also got a flipper tab, which is a different. I've done a video on this one. Hollow grind, that kind of thing. Uh, but, yeah, that was, a, that was another one that I was looking at, saying, man, I want to get one of those one day. But this is the ultimate for me. Uh, right now um, the shaman is kind of like the top um, I know there's a, a lot of really cool um, spider codes that are even more expensive but as far as ones that appeal to me the, the most this is really the it the shaman um, one of the things I like about it is it's got a little bit more weight it's a little thicker if you look at all these other spider codes they're all fairly thin and, and even the shaman is kind of thin um, but you see, it's it's tall. Let's uh, let's do some specs on this thing. So the blade length we're talking about three and a half. Cutting is like three. Uh, overall is uh, over eight, like about eight and a quarter. Um, but one thing uh, I noticed on this is that it's got a little more thickness at the spine. We're talking about one point four four. Whereas the PM2 is more in the range of 1.25, uh, eighth of an inch. So uh, a little bit thicker. So it's a little bit more hefty, solid in the hand. Feels like it can do some serious work. Um, they all have that, that taper to the end, that tall flat. Uh, really, really nice. It's got good action. Uh, this is on washers. Um, I think uh, a lot of these knives are, this one might be on washers too. It kind of feels that, like that kind of action. But with the PM2, you're definitely dropping. So I'm thinking that, I can't remember if this is on 
on washers or bearings. Anyhow, so you don't really get the, the this one does drop pretty well, even on washers. So maybe they all are. But uh, yeah, anyway, great knife, uh, Shaman, uh, Rips, Garage Tech, Scales. I'm not sure uh, who did the uh, the uh, pocket clip, but it's definitely an excellent pop pocket clip. Um, it's deep carry and um, different from the standard Spider Co., which does not go nearly as deep, but I still like it because I can kind of grab, grab on this area. This one you kind of have to dig down in your pocket a little bit more. But still, great knife. Um, Nick gave me a sweet deal on it, like he always does. And I appreciate him so much. And probably if if he hadn't done that, even though you know the, the price had to go up just because of the fact that it's the 15V version, it's got the titanium scales, and it's got, you know, the pocket clip. All these things are, are added costs that he put into the knife. Um, but he still gave me a good price. So here I am. I got a shaman in my hand. And uh, it's kind of like a grail. And uh, I hope, uh, you know, oh, one other thing I didn't mention. It's got the front flipper. Whereas... This guy has the, the back flipper. This is the, the only spider car I'm familiar with that has a, fr a front flipper uh, feature to it. So that's another thing. I mean, it's that's another reason why I like this knife so much. Anyway, I've already done this one three times. This may not be the perfect video. Kind of ramble a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you check out uh, Behind the Edge. Um, and I hope you guys have a great week getting uh, ready for Christmas. If you watch this one when it comes out, we got like a week. Get that shopping done. I'm going to be out of town next week, so we'll see what happens with videos. I might do some from the road. I might be just too busy. In any case, I'll be back eventually with more videos, and I will see you on that next one. Bye.